I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. God bless you. And what I want to say is happy Thanksgiving to every last one of you. This day in 2020, the actual date is November the 26th. And I hope all of you have had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I know that some of us had to make some big sacrifices for this COVID-19 year. And personally, I, I, I think it's great that many of you did not travel. Uh, and then there's many that have traveled. And we're going to find out, hopefully, it won't be too bad that there wasn't a super spreader for this uh, this holiday season. And that everybody went somewhere to, to lock up or link up with their uh, loved ones. You know, a lot of us had Zoom. We had Zoom uh, today. And it was a blessing for the officer. So, I, personally, I did. I hope that uh, many of you did that. And I, I tell you, even with the Zoom, I mean, I, my brother said it very good. It's just being having an opportunity to put eyeballs on somebody, you know, just put the eyeballs on, them. just just to, to to see, you know. I mean, I saw a lot. I saw. Uh, uh, we had a chance to see, uh, you know, my mother today. Uh, for the holiday, and and uh, I thought that was a that was good. We saw we saw my brother with and some other family member. We saw a lot of our nieces and ne nephews. So it still made a difference just being able to come in contact uh, with your loved ones. And many of you have immediate family, and there are some people that don't have any family members, and it's probably why they may have traveled. Uh, to visit and, and and we just pray that God really uh, will protect you and your loved ones and we pray that a lot of them be coming home safely uh, during this holiday season two weeks from now we'll, we'll see how things go I, I don't like the projection that they have put up there but uh, we're just going to have to see what happens but we, you know, I do want to sit there and and, and, and just say, you know, it is good to be thankful. Uh, God brought you through another year. This is a, this is like one of those, uh, you know, we have a calendar year, and that's going to be uh, 1 January 21, 21 coming up. Amen. But Thanksgiving is another marker of a year, of an annual thing. And, and, you know, it comes once a year. And that means those who listen to this video, uh, I pray that when it goes out, that all you had a chance to make it through another year uh, to walk this earth. And some of you probably said, well, 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 you know, I'm just depressed. And I'm saying, no, don't get me depressed. Just, just rejoice on the days that you have and the opportunity to, to be able to improve on who, what life is all about. I know some people think differently. And some people, especially if you don't have Christ, you may not, you feel like, well, what's the point? But the point is surviving, surviving every day of your life and, and give thanks to that day, each day to survive. For us that are believers, you know, that's what Jesus Christ gave the Lord's prayer. You know, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us what? this day our huh? <laughs> daily bread and forgive us of our set trespasses or our sin and we forgive those who trespass or sin against us and we thank you that you lead us not into temptation but has delivered us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen you know i mean he, he says i'm, I'm going to give you this day because tomorrow is not promised he said don't even worry about give thoughts about tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. And tomorrow will have his own challenges. <laughs> this day is they able to have the ability to address this day, because this day is the time that you can sit there and say, Lord, be with me. 
you know, and then to go and say Thanksgiving is to say this year, thank you for bringing me through another year. Thank you for allowing me to be able to, to, to walk this earth. Because see, there's a lot of people that did not make it for Thanksgiving this year. You know, even with this COVID-19, we're talking over 250,000 people uh, that have died. And they're saying because it may be out of control, we might have even more by mid-December. But you made it today. There's a, and you know, we, we should pray about the fact that, that there's people in the hospitals right now. I mean, if, if you have kept up the current events in this video, whether it be seen today, tomorrow, uh, next year, there's people right now in the hospital fighting for their life because of this COVID-19, because of the pandemic. There's people sitting there fighting for uh, other other type of tragedy from accidents and, and, and other type of illness uh, or, or, or atrocities. But those of us who are not fighting, give thanks. And let's pray for those people. Let's pray right now. Father, we pray for the people who are currently in the hospitals that are fighting this, 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 this disease called COVID-19. Uh, we, we want to lift them up in prayer. We are praying this day, and we're giving thanks this day that you are holding them up, keeping them strong, that, that, that you are with them because we can't be with them. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that they, that, that they, they recover bring them back allow them to 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 recover from this disease and get up for one day and give you the praise and the glory and the honor we pray father for those who are traveling this uh holiday season for thanksgiving and we ask heavenly father that you, you have angels kept around and allow them to travel safely return home safely we pray that the the we this won't be a super spreader event that the people that that covid 19 won't take advantage of this time and, and it affect people. But we pray that, that with the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. We're not tempting you. We, 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 we're, we're, we're praying for deliverance. We're praying for a recovery. And, and we, we're asking, Lord, hallelujah, to, to protect those and help them recover in the hospital. And we thank you for bringing us to another year we had 2019, now we're in 2020. And this is the Thanksgiving that we celebrate, bringing us to another year. There's many people right now in food lines, and some people that's facing eviction. Uh, there's people angry because of the election. There's people rejoicing because of the election. We pray for our unity in our country to come together and, and operate in love, not in, in, in any other way. Give God the glory and understand it. If emotion comes and needed from the east, north, from the west, north, from the south, but God is the judge. He put us down one and set us up another. It is God, and when we do something, we accept what happens based on what God does. And it doesn't matter how we want to be denying anything else. It only matters that we give thanks to you because if God is who's in charge. You the one is ultimate. And I thank you, Father. So I pray, Lord, just to have those in the hospital right now, this holiday season. We lift up the family members as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. And, and, I, and I just want to, just want you to, to, to remember that and, and just understand God loves you. God loves you, God loves me. God wants us to all survive and, and, and we just need to turn toward him. We, we can't turn toward our flesh. We can't turn to our selfishness. We can't turn and sit there and worry about whether somebody, uh, uh, what, a, what, what I, I don't care about, and I know some of you do, so maybe I should take, rephrase it. Some of you do care about the, uh, uh, the election results to the point, I gotta tell you what, I, 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 can, I can tell you that man, if. If, if, if we had lost, those of us who voted, 
and lost. I, I think it would have been for us very uh, hard. But it had been hard because of the, the concern about the life of so many people. We can't be in denial of this, this, this disease. It's, it's nothing, the death of somebody does not equal the amount of money people make. You know, and it's funny if you think about it, even this time you got the, uh, the stock market continued to chug along in the midst of a pandemic. It was, and some people sit there and say, well, we're, we're gonna give the president credit for that. Well, you know, it was trudging along with President Obama. You don't wanna think so, that's fine. You don't wanna think about the fact is that the man study came from a 10% deficit in unemployment and brought that thing down. And that thing was on the trajectory going down. If you don't want to sit there and say that the stock market wasn't going and come the brother coming into the, uh, the president taking it for the last, in 2016, walking into a, a tailwind, if you don't want to accept, that's fine. That's up to you. But you know what? What's ironic is, even after the election results, the stock market still keeps trucking along. Because it doesn't matter about who wins. Those people out there are making adjustments based on the current situation. But it does make a difference about the people that's in those food lines. It does make a difference about those people who's being evicted. It does make a difference about how many people are dying through this pandemic. It makes a difference. And we, we as saints, have to learn to give and lift up God and be a light in this world. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and give some scriptures for the uh, uh, Thanksgiving. This is, this is a good one. And I think it's worth uh, reading. And I, I, I wanna read these to you, man. I tell you, it's a, it's a blessing of scriptures. And I know that you'll find it be a blessing for you. And uh, we'll just go ahead and lift up God in prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, what I'll be reading uh, for today is it's gonna deal with uh, uh, Colossians and it's chapter one, man. I, I thought it was appropriate for the day and I was wanted to give this type of video uh, just to, to be able to, to uh, you know, just, to, just to, to give some word of encouragement for the day for all of us. This is Colossians chapter one, starting in verse one. You know what I'm saying is, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints, that's you, that's you today. He wrote that letter for the saints that were in his time, and he's writing that letter to us. To the saints and faithful brothers in Christ, which are at Colossae, and also throughout this world, amen. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray always for you. Come on, saints. We should pray always for one another. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which you have to all the saints. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, wherefore ye heard, <laughs> before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Psalm 102, big uh, Pacific and the gospel of the kingdom. And all the fullness thereof, amen. Verse six, which is to come unto you, unto us, as it is in all the world, hallelujah. Wherefore, I think, excuse me, verse six, as I said in all the world, and bring forth fruit as it does also in you. Since the day you heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth, you have, you also heard of Ephrathitis, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister in Christ. And that's a, that's a good thing to be recognized, all of us be considered faithful ministers in Christ, amen? Verse eight, who also declared to you, to us, your love in the spirit. 
And some of us who listen to this, you, you have a love in the spirit. That you have to love in the spirit. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom, and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And see, that's one of the things we really want us as saints and believers. And let's just strive on for this next year, this coming year, to get uh, spiritual, get, get wisdom and spiritual understanding. Because see, we, we walk in the flesh, but we, we are spirit beings. And there's spiritual discernment that we want to be able to hear from God. You know, in John 4, 24, that God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So that's what we want today to get to that fact, amen? Verse 10, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Look, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. You know, we talked about the fruits of the Spirit. And these are all talking about being, being, being fruitful, you know? And we can all be fruitful in, in Christ. And we know those fruits of the Spirit. We know the love. We know the joy. We know the peace. We know the long suffering. We know the gentleness. We know the faithfulness. We know the meekness. Glory to God. We know the self, the, the, the faithfulness and the temperance and the self-control. Those things bear fruit, right? He said in verse 12, giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meek to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness, hallelujah, and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. We have been delivered from the power of darkness. And we see the gross doctrine, we see the deception, we see the illusion. We see people sitting there and, and, and don't even recognize, they can't even see themselves. They can't even see their rudeness. <laughs> they can't even see, you know, one of the things somebody talked about uh, recently was saying is that most people demonize and uh, others so that they can be as cruel as they can to other people. And and yet they want to say they're believers. But let me tell you, son, as a believer, I don't care whether the person is a sinner. I don't care whether the person is a monster. You as a believer are supposed to bear fruit. Your fruit is not wrath. Your fruit is not hatefulness. Your fruit is not being despised in somebody. Your fruit is not glorifying whether you're in the flesh, whether you were black or white or anything else. You're supposed to bear, you are supposed to bear fruit of love towards somebody regardless of who they are. Now we're not talking about sitting there and saying, oh, we just roll over. No, we're talking about the fact that you do everything professionally. Somebody's been arrested, you do it professionally, not out of hate, not out of despisement. You somebody running for an office, you don't hate the person because they have a different ideology than you. You don't sit there and, and lie and use lies and deception when you're running for any position, whether it's a president or a vice president or senators, congressman, state, or local official. You don't do the things that the world do. You don't operate in darkness, you operate in light. You operate in truth because that's where who you are. There's people right now that operates in deception and hate. And there's people that sit there, we had a, we had a Supreme Court ruling this week. One of the things the Supreme Court ruling was talking about is, we, you can't put restrictions, we can't just put unnecessary restrictions on people for worship. Well, all I can tell you, every pastor out there, just remember, when you, I know you need the money. I know you need that money. I know you got to pay those bills. I know you got to pay for that air time. I know you got to pay for the utilities and pay for your staff and pay for yourself and feed your family. I know it. And you know you need people to come and worship you. And I'm telling you, it ain't not worth people dying for you or us or anybody to get the money they need. It's not for filthy lucre's sake. God is our source. 
And for believers, let me tell you something for all the ministries that are out there, your ministry that you've been going to is no reason unless you don't have money, unless you're not employed to send your uh, offerings and, and your tithes to your, to your uh, ministry so they can keep afloat. So they be up and running when it's time for this thing to be over with. You don't need ministry to sit there and have to uh, be evicted from the building, lose their building, cut their lights off, cut their staff, because we don't want to continue to give even though we have to stay at home. See, we see we cause it, so, so it's like, oh, I gotta be in the building. No, you have to be in Christ. We have to be in Christ. Let's give thanks and let's give ministry. Have these pastors out and so that they don't sit there and try to do all kinds of crazy stuff to get people back in church in the midst of a pandemic. We got these Zoom, we got these media, all this type of stuff is available for people. You get you go to church in cars and you're sitting in the car and listen and praise God in the car. Or or like I said, media, but just such as YouTube and, and Zoom and all those other things. But Kept your pastors out. I ain't looking for it because we're not. Uh, it's a blessing right now for us. We don't. We're not using uh, a facility uh, to do worship, so we don't. We don't. We don't need our members uh, to just give if they can't give, or if they don't feel like giving. We that's okay because God is the source. God is the one that that motivates, allows us to to do the things that we do to be available the, the things we need to do. But some ministries, there's a lot of ministries that they're so sore. You're talking about, especially the full-time ministries. You were, you are the, the source that God used to keep these ministries going. So so don't, don't get them to do some, some cra crazy things and cause you to come into those buildings and be exposed to a, a virus. Just help them and, and give them, turn, Mail your bill and your offerings and your tithes and to your ministry. So that ministry can go ahead and continue to pay for the building. You know, a lot of ministry that they, they got building funds. They got staff. Help them. But but let's not play this, hey, Supreme Court said let's the freedom of religion. What freedom of religion is for us to worship God, not a building, not a person, but God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the, and the whole purpose of ministry is to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. And I know we can equip one another by through these types of uh, through media, such as Zoom, radios, and everything else. And, 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 and while we're going through this stuff, continue, if you can, give to your local ministry so they can continue to, to, to stay ready Cause this ain't gonna last. This will not last. We will get through this. We will get through this. I guarantee you, we will get through this in due season. But when we, as we go through this situation, this pandemic for this 2020, we're gonna go through this believing and trusting in God, giving thanks for God that our family members are alive. And then pray for those who are fighting and struggling and those who have lost the battle, be able to say, God is with you. God is with them. I say, so you, you, you die, you die in it. You, 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 you're going straight to God and, and then to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and for the believers, for the non-believers, well, you know, all I can tell you is this. When, when, when you're gonna, all of us gonna step out of this suit, whether it's gonna be today, tomorrow, next year, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, we're gonna leave this suit, this house suit, this, 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 this body. And for you, many believe that when it end is, and you know, that's your faith, that your soul does not, some of you said soul don't even exist. That, so therefore you, you feel that's your faith. Your faith is that you don't have a soul. And that you when you die, you die, and then that's it, the lights out over with. And, and and that's your faith. And you hold on to it, is that what you want to do? I won't hold on to that. But for those of us who loved ones have been lost in Christ Jesus, the Bible says absence of the body is being present with the Lord. And and therefore they, they lose that fight. 
that good fight of faith, they lose it in the, in the hospital. They're with the Lord because they, they believe and trust in him. And for those of us who win that fight, we give him the praise and the glory. And those of us who make it through another year, we give him the praise and the glory. There's people who are not, that they, they, they are in food lines. And, and I don't know if you ever see the news, it's miles and miles of people in the food line. So we want to go ahead and just give thanks for wherever point. Thank that we're alive. Some of them think that we have a job. Thank some of them think that we can feed our families. Give thanks. And then pray for one another, those who can't, so that they will be able to, to uh, get through this and give God the glory and honor. Amen. So go back to 12 again. Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meek to partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and transla translated us into the kingdom of the dear Son in whom we are redemptive through his blood, even, look at this, the forgiveness of sin. Man, that's a blessing by itself, even for the forgiveness, for the forgiveness of sin. Verse 15, Colossians 1, verse 15. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? That's Jesus Christ. For by him we were all things created. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible, we well, look at this, and invisible, whether it be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Come on, y'all. And heaven made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things to himself. By him, I said, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you, that was sometimes alienated. That's us. That was me. Maybe some of y'all want to alienate, but me. And enemies in your mind by the wicked works, yet now have he reconciled. <laughs> in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Come on, y'all. Because everybody here, if we if outside of Christ, we will, we are uh <laughs> blamable. Uh we all are uh got issues, right? <laughs> That's, so so therefore we 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 are unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven and wherefore I, Paul, am made a minister. Amen? And then verse uh, 24. Who now rejoice in my suffering for you and filled up that which is behind of the affliction of Christ and my flesh for his body's sake which is the church. Wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery which has been here from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you the hope of glory whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we might present every man look at this this is the whole goal y'all this is the whole goal of the gospel that we might present every man perfect in christ not 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 <laughs> not in our own ability not in your ability, not in your own perfection, but in Christ. 
every man perfect in Christ. Every last one of us are perfect in Christ. Every last one of us are un unblameable in Christ. Every last one of us are unprovable in Christ. We are all made perfect in Christ Jesus. He said, without me, you can do nothing. Give thanks to the fact that he, God sent his son to make us perfect. Come on now. He made us perfect in Christ Jesus. And therefore we will. Verse 29, wherefore to, where to, I also labor, thriving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Saints, I want you to, I, I pray that you had a great Thanksgiving. And those, and I know there's a lot of things going on, but you're making it. You're making it. Don't, don't fade. Don't quit. Don't stop. Just keep trusting in him because he is with us. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. See, I know that my own ability does not hold up. I know that my body has limitations. I know that I have limitations. You know what? And I know that you have limitations. You, none of you all that a bag of potato chips. None of you. You all have shortfalls. You, I can't put my faith in you. I can't put my faith in myself. I got to put my faith in Christ Jesus. I got to put the faith in the anointing of Christ Jesus on me through the Holy Spirit. I got to put my faith in God because that is my source. That is my hope. That is my, my now and my future. And it's for you as well. I pray to everybody here to wear this. I hope you got this uh, Thanksgiving message. I hope you really did have and enjoy your Thanksgiving. And I know that those who are now got loved ones in, in the hospital, uh, we're with you. We're praying with you. We're trusting God is going to deliver them. We pray that the Holy Spirit comfort you. We pray for the Holy Spirit to anoint them to get up and walk. We pray, glory to God, that you will get through this and your family will get through this. We pray that our economy will come back and we pray that people get their jobs back. We pray that this thing is going to come get over and be finished with. And we pray, glory to God, that we will be unified as a country, as a nation, no longer sitting there fighting because I'm a, because you're red or blue or whether you're Republican or Democrat or whether you're independent or whatever. It doesn't matter because we all one in Christ Jesus. We are the United States of America. We are united. The word itself tells us who we are. We are united as one. And as we move as one, we can do anything, especially in Christ Jesus. Our, our country, on our currency, say, in God we trust. And in God we will survive. In God we will make it. You will make it. We will be united in faith, united as one, regardless of our affiliation, regardless of our race, regardless. No, because there's one race, a human race. Hallelujah. All these other subcategories are created by man for a division. A house divided cannot stand, but we stand as one. We are the body of Christ, and we're going to make it. Hallelujah. We're going to make it. We're going to make it and next year. We're going to be able to sit there. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us through. Thank you for bringing our country back on track. Thank you, glory to God, for unifying our country. We're going to get tired of fighting each other because we ain't got tired of it. The House, the White House is not a gold. Hmm. That we keep fighting for or prize that we keep fighting for. If you think about it, we just had... Four years of one, uh, one party had it. Four years ago, another party had it. You get it, you did, you got all kinds of trials and tribulation that goes with it. So it does not, the glory of having it is so fleeing that it doesn't matter when you think about it. It doesn't matter as to be divided against one another. But what does matter we united? So I thank you for this opportunity to come and worship and with me. And let, I, I pray that those who get a chance to hear this video be able to sit there and say, wow, uh, a ministry that, of encouragement, 
which is the word of God. Everything else I say doesn't matter. I put those, those scriptures going to be up on the screen so you'll be able to see them. But the whole point is, let the word speak for itself. Let the word speak for itself. Let the word speak for itself. And he will confirm his words with signs. Amen. And I, I'm just going to believe that the signs that come from this ministry and every other ministry that preached the gospel, that Christ Jesus, the Holy Spirit, will confirm the word of God and with signs. Amen. And those words is what we live by. He said his words are spirit and his word is life. So therefore, we read these scriptures we read life. And we're going to trust that those words are going to manifest in our life. Deliverance for those in that hospital. If we're going to joy for those who are going to walk out of there. There's people afraid right now, but God has not given them a spirit of fear, but a love, power, and a sound mind. And we, giving thanks to God, pray for deliverance for those in the hospital. Pray for restoring of people's jobs. Pray for people not to be evicted. Pray for people to be able to come back here in 2021 saying, hallelujah, he brought me through. Amen. All right, we're going to pray out. And I just want to just say thank you. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And uh, we'll see you next time. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity for us to get together and worship. And I know, Heavenly Father, that you have brought us through another year uh, for Thanksgiving. You brought us through 2020. 2020 is a, is, 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 is a, has been a challenge. Hallelujah. But you still been with us. And I thank you for blessing those who still got a job, still have their health, still have their family members. We still have a country. Glory to God. And we can, we'll make it. We'll make it because we trust in you. That's what we put on our currency. And God, we trust. I thank you, Father, for all you're doing. I, I pray the angels are kept around the saints here. I pray, Heavenly Father, to give them the spirit of love, power, and sound mind, not fear. Hallelujah. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for all recognize we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. We give you the praise, the glory, and honor. Until next time we meet, Father, continue to bless the saints until we meet again. And Father, I do also want to lift in prayer also all the ministries out there, all the full-time ministries that, that have been suffering because of this pandemic, because of this economy situation. Father, I pray for the saints that's listening. Go ahead and send uh, tithes and offering to the, your ministries, your local ministries. Let's, let, us, let them continue to build up. Some of you sitting there saying, well, they don't need it because they, they don't got too many people. That, that's not true. Well, one of the things is let's build up the treasury so that we can be able to start running when we when everything is over with. That's what it's all about. I thank you, Father. I praise your holy name. Happy Thanksgiving to all the saints, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to our Father in heaven. And I can pray that the Holy Spirit continue to comfort us, guide us, and lead us in the direction we need to go. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you next time. God bless. Hallelujah.